Hi, this is Sharon from Lovely UX and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming a sort of get ready with me. It is a friend's hens party. So I have two and a half hours to get ready. It is currently just after 2.30. I have to be there by 6. So I want to give myself a bit of time to sort of like, I don't know, get dressed and get everything ready. So not in too big of a rush. And it is required for any kind of celebration when getting ready. I have pre-drinks and chocolate. And I was kind of bad and started peeking on my face, which is probably not the best idea, but oh well, we're dealing with it. So I want to look super glam and hydrated tonight, and um, I've had a real big issue lately with purple and very puffy under eyes. So I'm taking my Tarte 911, this is the under eye rescue patches, they come I think in a set of four. These came out a fair while ago and I just like never ended up using them, so I'm going to get stuck into them today. The, the Tarte skincare patches, they come like this, okay, so basically you just open these up, there's like a little thing in the corner which you can open. Also I've been doing my nails myself lately and I'm thinking about doing videos so if that's something you'd like give this video a thumbs up. Alright so they're like stuck between two sheets. This is very slimy. Take this backing off and I'm pretty sure we just stick these on. You just pop them in the fridge and then you just put them on and then I'm pretty sure they're reusable. We will see. Yeah, like, I literally can't see past these little things on the inner corner. Okay, leave on for 10 15 minutes before gently removing. So, I've got those on. I'm just gonna take my hair down. I let it dry because I washed it last night and it's not completely dried. I've already faked tan. I've used a gradual moisturizing tanner. I leave these eye patches on for about 15 minutes. They feel really weird. Um, I've never used these before, so it's something new for me and they don't seem to be like staying where I want them to stay. So, I'm just gonna leave this on for 15 minutes. Alright, so it has been just over 10 minutes. I could probably leave them on for longer, but I just don't have the time. So I'm just going to get stuck into it. I definitely want to be very bougie with my makeup. I'm going to pick makeup that's like quite high-end, that's fairly special to me. Like stuff that I know is like pretty ride or die. Starting off with the Galan Dior Gold Flake Primer. A couple of pumps of that and I'm just going to press it into my skin. And I really want a lot of hydration, so I'm probably going to go in with another primer as well. Going in with the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Rich Face Base. And I'm just using a fairly clean beauty blender just to get some of that out. And I'm just going to spread that over my skin. Because I'm going to be using quite a drying foundation. I wonder if you guys can guess which one it's going to be. Next I'm going in with the Lush Popcorn Scented Lip Scrub. Because I want my lips to be luscious. Next, I'm going to use a lip product that I haven't used in a really long time, which is the Bee Venom Lip Balm. Take a little bit of that on my nail and just pop it on my lips. Spread it around. So because I want my skin to look flawless, I'm going to go in with Smashbox Photo Finish Flawless Primer. I'm going to put that in the T-zone area. The foundation I'm using is the Marc Jacobs Remarkable. And you guys know that I use the lighter and darker shade and mix them together. I have Ivory Light 10 and I have Beige, Beige, Beige Medium 34. And you don't need much of this stuff. You really, really don't. Put that in there. That's it there. I'm just going to mix that up. going to test. Yeah, because we can bronze it up. Next I'm going in with my Tarte Shake Tape Concealer and I'm just going to put the lighter one on the very inner corner to brighten. I'm just going to put a touch of the warm one over just to make it not so fair. And just a touch there. And I'm just going to blend that in. I'm actually going to cream conceal to warm this up. I'm going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Kit. I'm going to mix these two shades here. Lightly cover that out. So I will be using powders over creams, just to really make sure that I have a staying power. Contour in all the usual places, including the nose. Next I'm going in with my Kiss and Blush Palette. This is Tarte's Cream Blush Palette and I'm going to mix these two together. This is Peck and Butterflies. 
I really miss cream products. God, do I love them. They're just so pretty. Like, if this was, like, everyday makeup, I would just leave it just cream products. So stunning. Next, I'm going in with my Kat Von D loose setting powder. Um, I believe this is translucent. Go in with her big powder brush. Dust that on. Don't breathe in. And then I just go really light on the forehead because I don't like a lot of product on there. Next, I'm going in with the brightening powder in Petal. Some in the cap. Just going to... Just that underneath the eyes. Such a nice powder. I'm so glad I gave this one another go. Pretty sure like every single shot of this video is gonna have my hair in a different spot. So if it's bothering you, I apologize. All right, so Urban Decay Primer Potion in original. Next, I'm gonna set that primer with the Hourglass Ambient Light Trio and just a tart, it's meant to be a concealer brush, but I'm just gonna go into this center shade. I'm just gonna dust it over. It's gonna go in with a new palette. I have not used this bad boy before. This is the Jaclyn Hill palette by Morphe. I know this is kind of old, but I'm like always late to the party. I never buy things when they actually come out, like hardly ever. Late to the bandwagon, but I'm here and I'm not dealing with any of that bullshit. This is what the palette looks like. I'm not really sure what kind of look I'm gonna do. It's gonna end up being quite neutral. I think I'm gonna do like a champagne -y kind of color because you know, Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop. I'm not using that today, just so you know. As usual, I will struggle with like inspiration and what kind of look I wanna do. Although I've done a lot of purple lately, I haven't really done very much um, like ready tones. First, I'm going in with a large flat pack brush into this shade here, which is called Bean. Put that all over the inner corner of the lid. Whoa, that's light. Okay, that was way louder than I thought it was gonna be. Pretty good pigment. I know what I'm gonna do. It's a look I haven't done in a really long time. It's like a soft, defined cut crease, but you don't like actually cut it. I'm going in the shade MFEO, which is this one here. Just gonna lightly take that through the crease. And I'm making sure that the tip of the brush doesn't go any further down than where my crease actually is. Like I'm cutting it with the brush. Ooh, some volume coming in. Ooh, that's what we want. That's not money. That's not money. That's not money. Next, I'm going into the shade Hunt, which is sort of like a more of a burnt terracotta. I'm just barely touching in there. I always say every single look I do, I'm like, I want it to be light, and then it turns out bold. So we'll see how this one goes. I'm just mapping that out like a so delicately that I'm like making that wine. You can hear all the birds chirping outside. It's because it's bird feeding time and they're noisy. Next I'm taking a round pencil brush. This is Napoleon brush 12. And then I'm gonna go in with the shade Jax, which is this quite a deep red here. And I'm gonna start defining that line a little bit more. I'm just gonna get that blending brush and blend this out a little bit more. I'm going in with that shade Jax again on that pencil brush. And what I want to do is just delicately connect it to the corner of my eye. Okay, so blend this out, especially in the corner here. So I'm gonna create just some like definition there. Next I'm taking that Jax shade again, but now on the blending brush, I'm just gonna diffuse this outer corner area. Oh, it's so pretty. So can you see like the shape that it creates? It's like a triangle in here and then it blends into it. So you just want to make this a bit more seamless. Seamless now. Next time I'm going in with a much smaller packing brush. This is brush 11 by Napoleon Purtis. And I'm just going to go in to Cran Apple. I'm going to pat that on the outer corner up to where that line would be. And we create it with the crease. I want to transition it into a bit more pinky shade. So I'm going to go in with Little Lady, which is this one over here. This is a big palette to muck around with. I really wish they had just put the shades on the front so I didn't have to keep turning around every single time I wanted to find out what the shade was. I'm gonna go on the center of the lid, so on the mobile lid. So pretty this look, it's coming together really well. The thing that I do like about the Jaclyn Hill palette so far is like you can create a number of looks with this. Color story is really well put together. I can understand why they selected the shades that they did and I can understand why they wanted to release the vault. It's just really disappointing that 
the vault collection they've had so many issues with it like so many different factors i really wish that there had been a mirror in the top of this like she could have still included the message and included a mirror that would have been really handy okay so i'm just going to take my blending brush and just diffuse that edge a little next i'm going to go in with faint which is this pink shade just here i'm just going to take some of this i'm going to like really load this brush up with this product i'm just laying that down oh she bright she very bright take this up and cut it out a little so we're almost doing like a cut crease without doing the concealer so i still want that definition of where the crease is where we've cut it but i don't want that precise line i want it to be softer than that next i'm taking what's left over on that brush and i'm just taking that along the lower inner corner of that eye just getting more crayon apple on that small flat packing brush and i'm just going to take that along the lower outer edge Next, I'm using the Benefit Kapow Brow Pomade in shade 2, which is, I guess, top. And I'm using my ABH brush for that. So, throwing my brows on. You saw how quickly I got that brow done. That's like one of my favorite things about this product is like very nice and thick. So it's like really difficult to sort of get too much product. Next, I'm just going to put on my Kat Von D liner. I'm just going to line the lash line and then I'm going to put on my mascara. And then I'm going to put on these natural hair lashes. These ones down here. These are Lashes 43. I can't remember what the brand is. If I can find the box, I will include it down below what the brand is. Okay, guys. So I'm back. Liner is on. Lashes, mascara. And I'm doing my hair. Put my whole outfit on because it's getting close to when I'm meant to be leaving. So I just thought, just bang it out. So I'm just going to finish off the look. I'm just going to contour using my Tarte Tartus palette, these two shades, and my Real Techniques brush. So I'm just going in with the lighter shade. I've covered these twice and it still just keeps poking through, so... I haven't got time to muck around with this sneaky pimple that keeps poking out no matter what. Just gonna take it down the sides of the nose just to bronze my face up a little bit. That same brush I'm going in with my blush bazaar. So I'm gonna take these like warmer shades just here, these two. Cause I feel like it really complements this eye look. And I'm really buffing that into the skin. And I'm definitely blending that in up into the contour and on the side of my temples. Next, I'm taking the Marc Jacobs. Ooh, almost dropped it. This is the Spotlight Glow Stick. It looks like this. And I'm just going to pop that on the high points of my cheekbone here. Can you see? So pretty. And I'm sort of taking that onto the front of the cheek a little bit. So it looks so nice. Just popping that through the center of my face, just create a little bit more glow, and then on the top of the forehead here. I'm going to like take this on the shoulders, rub that in. You can just do this kind of action to get the color bonus stick out, so you can just like bang it straight down that spot where it's meant to be going. It's too reflective. It's stunning. See? Beautiful. Taking that Tarte Concealer Brush, going in with this pink highlight here. I simply love this highlight. It's so pretty and it's going to go so well with this, especially with Marc Jacobs. It's just going to capture it and really like make it so glowy. How stunning is that? Okay, next I'm going in with Kat Von D Mini Lipstick in the shade Magic. And I'm eating pretty much as soon as I get there, so I'm not going to muck around perfecting my lips because that's absolutely pointless. It's going to be on for like 20 minutes and then it'll be um, taken off by the food. So I'm just going off, I'm just going over the top of that with Urban Decay's Naked. I'll lighten it a little, it's a bit too pink for me. 
beautiful. I'm gonna run the brush through my hair. We're like literally done for the makeup. Like it's such a stunning look, this one. I'm really happy with the way that it's turned out. I know it seems a bit rushed, but that's because I'm actually gone slightly over time. I'm only running probably about 10 minutes late, which isn't too bad. So brush through these curls. And they'll sort of take their shape back shortly. Every time I brush them, they're a bit flat. And then they'll slowly, by the time I get there, they'll be like reformed. So I'm just going to do a bit of teasing. I need some volume. I've got the Carolina Herrera Good Girl. This is the smallest one because I wanted to keep it in my handbag. So I'm just going to spritz out me. Probably a bit overkill, but yeah. I've got my um, Wheels and Doll Baby corset lace dress. This is such a stunning dress. It's so pretty. This poor dress, I've like worn it to death. It's definitely my favorite. So I'm not one of those people that buys a new dress every occasion. I will wear what looks good on me. I'm going to pair it with my Christian Louboutin Pigalle Plateau patent leather heels with the matching bag. Um, so I'm just going to take like an overcoat with me. That's about it really. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is, you know, pretty full on glam I'd say for me, but like most of my tutorials are. If you like what you see, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you can be notified anytime I put out a video. Don't forget you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram and Snapchat. They are all Love Lady Lux. So I hope you have as good a night out as I'm going to. This was Sharon from Love Lady Lux and I will see you next time.